Okay, right, I'll kick off. Um, IB Bot's a company that's based in Hong Kong. We create hobby cultures, climate reporting devices. We build hardware, we build software. We've been doing this for three years. We're uh, officed both here, China, and also the Philippines. We have been structured and selling products, particularly in hydroponics for the last four years. What I'm gonna show you next is how, what, where, and why. Uh, our time's limited, so I will skim just to the major points. Images speak a lot. We create products that sit inside um, grow tents or grow arenas that capture data such as temperature, humidity. This is the product called Air Comfort that you see here. This product is uh, available and has been selling for the past four years all around the globe. We compete with devices that are much cheaper and much more expensive. Our point of difference sits us in the middle because we concentrate on designing our software and reporting systems specifically for this entire clientele. Where we see the market today, and this is the total hydroponics DIY is about 52 billion US dollars globally. This number has been built up from looking at grocery channels that we are deploying our products in. The market share that we would like to service is about 1.3 billion of which we've put 1.5 million US dollars worth of product via revenue inside of this already. Now, our portfolio is built up of a handful of products. We'll go skim through these here. The icons will tell you this is temperature and humidity. This Bluetooth device here on the left connects both to an app and a cloud. The other device that we are using within the hydroponics industry measures what's happening in the ground, which is the nutrient level and the water levels of our plants. We capture a total of five out of six. We're missing light, which will come later on in 2022. We've chosen Bluetooth as a communication protocol as it's a very cheap um, method of putting hardware into an environment to communicate with, with, uh, with our customer base. Uh, we have a hub which brings all of our Bluetooth products online, which means that consumers can see exactly what's happening all of the time every single day of the week. Into the roadmap into the future, we built a device that will be predominantly around CO2, uh, VOC, PM 2.5 readings. I can talk to you at length about what they do, but essentially that helps us sniff out bigger problems within different environments, not just the verticals we're selling in today. Our app is built by our team. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can see two devices, um, one capturing temperature and humidity at the bottom, picture of a cow. Uh, I'll explain that later. Above, we have the air quality, which me measures uh, volatile organic compounds and, and also the CO2 levels. On the right-hand side, uh, we've tailored our product to work within the hydroponics environment by allowing users to set their notifications, naming, testing periods, and also um, a horticultural mode where they can start and watch it from birth, seeding, fruition, and then into flowering. Um, back into horticulture, we predominantly service an environment where it's legal or tenuously legal to grow medicinal or a form of cannabis predominantly with our clientele, which is a very important factor on an eight-week cycle that they monitor things. To date, we have shipped just over 40,000 units. Open POs will take us to around about uh, 80 or 90,000 this year. And into 2022, when we kind of get more dominance into further countries, we're hoping to hit 150,000 units of product sold. Okay. Um, we have a cloud platform which allows users to go from app to a big screen or a tablet, allowing them to see more important data, such as their grow room environment, uh, THI, which is a, an index reading for agriculture, back into other areas. We can plot mold reporting and we can also see whether or not the health of the plant is okay within a climate environment. There are different verticals that we can play on and this is all subscription based. The freemium account will allow you to see what's on the left. Subscription opens up different areas where somebody would have more concentrated information. 
So we also have in-app purchase, which allows people that don't want to use the cloud just to use something within the app. So you can have a look at different services inside there. We have a wonderful back-end cloud system that works on a enterprise and consumer level where you can see different segments of data, i.e. how much battery life, power, location, and also synchronization dates. To date, um, we have captured very close to 700 or maybe even 800 million instances from people using our devices around the world. So those people are hungry for, for big data. We have it, but we don't have the manpower to work out how that's entertaining people in a positive manner. The team is split up with a handful of legends, uh, myself handling sales here in, in Hong Kong. We have a couple of other chaps who do deal with our R&D and really, really help us out in terms of designing and creating the products. In the bottom, our team in the Philippines is awesome. They control of the iOS, Android and cloud-based systems. On the right, my favorite people are the guys in China. Um, they're super responsible for ensuring that our product is created uh, as to our golden samples and is consumer ready and consumer fit against the timelines when we deploy it through our network of global distributors.